In this video, I will show you how to browse SNOMED CT and other terminologies and how to use the different functions of the SNOMED CT view, which is this part of the user interface. We will also um, talk a bit about the parents view, which is down here, and the editor, which will be in this part. Um, the SNOMED CT view organizes the concepts um, in a tree-like structure um, by there is a relationships. The default setting that you can see here um, only displays the top level concepts. There are 17 overall and um, in the next video we will talk a little bit more about the concepts if you're curious about their content. If you want to um, browse through the hierarchy um, just simply click one of those triangles and it will reveal the children of a concept and you can go deeper into the hierarchy until you eventually reach um, uh, a concept that doesn't have children anymore and you can recognize it because it doesn't have a little triangle like these concepts don't have children anymore so you're at the end of the hierarchy if you want to reset the tree to its default state, just click um, this button. It's collapse all nodes on the toolbar, like this, and then you're back where you started from. If you want to take a closer look at a certain part of the terminology um, and omit high-level concepts or sibling concepts, um, you can do the following. Let's open the clinical findings again. And let's say you just want to look at um, um, complication. So you click on this and then there's this button, set concept as a root. And then it will just display this part of the terminology. So you can see everything that's underneath this concept. If you want to um, return, then just click this and then it's back at uh, the root concept. So this is where we have and that's collapsing all the nodes again. Okay, I'll show you one more time. Let's take something else. Let's go to events and this one, you set it as a root concept. Here you go back to where you started from and here you can collapse. Uh, maybe you remember um, double clicking this one will maximize so if you need more space uh, you can use this as well and then um, that's quite helpful here when you have a bigger terminology okay and then the, the buttons are here okay but I'll go back Um, a useful feature is um, this text field here, which is the filter search. I'll talk about this in more detail as well in the video about doing searches, but I, I already wanted to show it to you now. Um, if you type in a term, let's say pufferfish, it will um, display the matching concepts either as a tree or as a flat list. And there's a toggle button for this. So if you toggle here, you can uh, switch between uh, the trees so you can see the hierarchy and or you can just have the results as a flat list back and forth. As you can see, there are different icons in front of the search results. Um, so um, in SNOWL each top level concept has its own dedicated icon. Um, this icon uh, will also be used for its children. So when you open the hierarchy you can see that all the children have the same icon. Um, this lets you identify um, what type of concept you're working with uh, wherever you see it. So you see um, these, um, this concept um, is under the hierarchy of the clinical findings. Uh, this here belongs to events, this one to organisms, and this one uh, to substances. And if I have the flat list, you still have the icon here. If 
If I open one in the editor, you remember double clicking a concept will open the editor. Let's do the puffer fish. You will see this icon is here and you can see instantly um, if you know your icons that this is um, uh, an organism. And if I open another one, it has uh, the icon here as well. The icon will also show up in your search results. If I do um, a quick search up here, this is kind of like our internet Google search text field, and I type in pufferfish, it will show the search results as well with the dedicated icons. So it's, it's quite useful to know these icons because wherever you are uh, within Snow Owl, they will show up and they, they will help you to identify um, the type of concept that you're working with. Okay, let's go to um, uh, the parent view that we haven't talked about. Um, Fugu poisoning is actually a nice uh, example. Um, the parent view uh, displays the parents of a concept, the parent or the parents of a concept. Um, this concept here, Fugu poisoning, actually has multiple parents. Um, so let me just maximize it. And it's in contrast to the SNOMED CT view, the child is on top and then the parents are at the bottom. So if you open them, and it works exactly the same way as the SNOMED CT view that I just showed you, you should eventually reach the end of the line. And here is the root concept. But you see it's all um, the heart symbol, which um, um, stands for um, clinical uh, findings. Okay, so much about parent concepts. Uh, the parent concept, uh, the parent's view is linked to the concept view. So when you click a concept here, it will show up as you can see down here in the parent's view. Let me click another one. It's here. So whatever concept is activated in this um, concept view will be in the parent's view. This works as well for the other terminologies. We haven't talked about them, but um, they, they work exactly the same. So these concept views, we also call them concept navigators because you navigate through a hierarchy. Um, they can be opened by clicking the little triangle and closed again. You can set it as a root concept can go back and you can collapse all the nodes. And you see down here, I go down a little bit further in the hierarchy. Okay, if I click this, it will show its parents. Okay, so it works exactly the same. And of course, if you double click this, you can open an editor here as well. Uh, there is also the option to link the editor to the concept navigator. It's this button, it says link concept editor to navigator. Navigator is the same as the concept view. And if I activate it just by clicking it, now you see it's activated, it has a little border and it changed its color. Then when I have an active editor here, let me go to Google poisoning and now it shows up in the hierarchy like this. Um, so this way you can um, see uh, the concept navigator with all the information and we'll have a separate video about how to use this and what exactly it shows you. Um, but you can also see where your concept is located within the hierarchy. So if I maximize this There is my fugu poisoning. Okay. okay. Or the puffer fish. See, now it went to into a different sub hierarchy, into the organisms to puffer fish. And 
the same with the parent view, so the parent view follows as well. Um, and of course this works for other terminology, so I have this one and let's unlink this. Uh, so, so you link it by activating the button, by pressing it, and then if this is up, it's not linked anymore. So if I go to this one and I link it, so let's open a new one, and now it's linked, you see now it goes back. Okay. Um, this link button, by the way, works also down here in this view for the history, for instance. So if you have the history view and you have a concept, then it will show the history of the active concepts of the puffer fish here or of the fugu poisoning here. And if I inactivate it, then it's not going to change anymore. As you see now, the fugu poisoning stays here. Okay. So this is the link button, which is quite useful. Okay. Yes, um, and there's a little help symbol that um, opens up a menu on the side that talks about um, this part of the platform that are using that you're using, and it also gives you um, links to our user guide. So this is a concept navigator. It shows you what it is. Okay. Um, so much about navigating, um, uh, using the navigator for browsing SNOMED CT. And if you're wondering what actually is in the terminology, you can watch the next video where we'll take a closer look at each of these top level concepts. I will talk a little bit more about the dedicated icons. And um, if you're already, but if you're already familiar with SNOMED, uh, CT, you might want to skip this video and just go right to the video about doing searches.